The Market Anarchy series was created to republish and showcase historical and contemporary articles that highlight our relation to the revolutionary left and explain market anarchist theory in general terms. What we always meant by socialism wasn't something you forced on people. It was people organizing themselves as they, as they pleased into co-ops, collectives, communes, unions. And if socialism really is better, more efficient than capitalism, then it can bloody well compete with capitalism. So we decided to forget all that state of shit and violence and the best place for socialism is the closest to a free market as you can get. Mutualists believe that most of the present inequalities come not from the result of market forces, but from the perversion of these forces. A market is, after all, only a system of voluntary exchange. The state has stepped in and granted preferential treatment to certain individuals and groups. This created the vast inequalities we see. Even if the market were to give rise to certain problems, these could be offset by voluntary associations such as guilds, trade unions, community groups, and cooperation. Agorism is a revolutionary market anarchism. In a market anarchist society, the positive function of law and security will be provided by market institutions, not political institutions. Agorists recognize, therefore, that those institutions cannot develop through political reform. Instead, they will come about as a result of market processes. As government is banditry, revolution culminates in the suppression of government by market providers of security and law. Market demand for such service providers is what will lead to their emergence. Development of that demand will come from economic growth in the sector of the economy that explicitly shuns state involvement and therefore cannot turn to the state in its role as monopoly provider of security and law. That sector of the economy is the counter-economy, black and gray markets.